Hello, I am Sayed on Mass Online. The last class we were dealing with uh, random variables, and uh, I have given you the definition of random variables and a few formulas that I had given mean, variance, and standard deviation. These are some of the formulas that we have discussed. The variance has two results. This is one result. You can even write variance in this form also. Summation of xi square p of xi minus of mu square. We use uh, these results depending upon what type of question is uh, given to us. So let us take few examples based on probability distribution. So the first question is show that the following distribution represents a discrete probability distribution. Find the mean and variance. So the value of x is given and the corresponding probability value p of x is given. The question is we need to show that it represents a discrete probability distribution. So for a discrete probability distribution two conditions has to be satisfied. The first condition is that the probability of p of xi should be greater than zero that is the first condition and the second condition is that the summation of p of xi should be equals to that means the sum of all the probabilities should be equals to one now let us check whether these two conditions are satisfied or not so let us check p of x p of x values if you try to observe there are four values over here and all these four values one by eight three by eight three by eight and one by eight they are greater than zero so the first condition is satisfied the second condition says the summation of p of xi should be equals to one that means you have to sum up you have to add all these four values their sum should be equals to one so let us check it so if you try to add it so it is one by eight plus three by eight plus three by eight plus one by eight so lcm over here is eight just add the numerators it is one plus three plus three plus one we just add it the sum of the numerator values it is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 is nothing but 8 so it is 8 divided by 8 its value will be equals to 1 so we see that summation of p of xi the addition of all the values comes out to be 1 so both the conditions are satisfied if p of xi greater than 0 and summation of p of xi is equals to 1 if these two conditions are satisfied we say that it is a discrete probability distribution so the first question was to show that this given expression is a discrete probability distribution and hence we have shown it is a discrete probability distribution now coming to the next question it is asking us to find out the mean and variance so I have given the formula for the mean mean is summation of xi into p of xi so let us take this first question so we have mean mean is equals to the summation of x i into p of x or you can just write it as x into p of x that means you have to take the product of x and p of x x and p of x x into p x that means all the values you have to just multiply x into p x and then write down. So the first value that we have over here is, is x into p of x that is 10 into 1 by 8 it is 10 into 1 by 8. The summation is there it's plus. The next value that we have is 20 into 3 by 8 20 into 3 by 8 plus the next value that we have is 30 into 3 by 8 that is 30 into 3 by 8 plus the last value that we have is 40 into 1 by 8 that is 40 into 1 by 8 so if you try to observe here uh, you can just take the LCM as 8 if you take the LCM as 8 the first value you will be getting is 10 times of 1 is 10 so 20 times of 3 will be 60 plus you have 30 times of uh, 3 will be 90 
this 40 times of 1 will be equals to 40 just add all these uh, values and then divide it by 18 just use your calculator and try to find it find it out it comes out to be say 25 so the mean will be equals to 25 next is asking us to find out even the variance also so for variance we have the formula over here its variance is equals to the summation of xi minus of mu whole square into p of xi so since we know the value of this mean mu right so let us use that one so this mean that we have calculated is represented as mu so if you use the formula there so the variance will be equals to variance v is equals to it is summation of xi minus of mu whole square into it is p of xi so this xi represents different values of x you have 10 20 30 and 40 and p of xi represents 1 by 8 3 by 8 3 by 8 and 1 by 8 so let's try to plug in here starting with the first value so first value of x is 10 so it is 10 minus mu value is the same mu is the mean mean value is 25 so therefore it is 10 minus of 25 it is whole square into p of x so the first value of uh, p of x is nothing but 1 by 8 over here so let us try to plug in so 1 by 8 plus again we need to repeat this process for all the different values given in the table so second set of values second value of x over here is 20 and the corresponding value of p is 3 by 8 so you will be getting 20 minus mu value is 25 whole square into p of x value will be 3 by 8 plus again x value the next value of x the third value of x that you have over here is 30 and it is once again p value p of x value is 3 by 8 so you'll be getting 30 minus mu value mu value is 25 whole square into p value is 3 by 8 plus we need to continue it one more value is there of x is uh, 40 and p of x is 1 by 8 so you have x value is 40 minus your mu value is 25 whole square into p value is 1 by 8 just use your calculator and try to calculate this uh, value I hope you might have got the value for uh, the variance v so the variance uh, v will be equals to Have we got the value as 75? Have we got 75? Then it is the right answer. So hence we have got the mean as well as the variance. That completes the first question. Second question is find the value of k such that the following distribution represents a finite probability distribution. Hence find its mean and standard deviation. Also find p of x less than or equals to 1 p of x greater than 1 and p of x lying between minus 1 and 2 this is the table that is given over here so because the question says that it is a, a probability distribution so hence two conditions will be satisfied the first condition is that p of x i should be greater than 0 so here if you try to see this values of k if the value of k is greater than 0, then naturally this p of x will be greater than 0. And the second condition is that summation of p of xi should be equals to 1. So the second condition, you have to just add all these values, starting with uh, the value of k, so k plus 2 times of k plus 3 times of k plus 4 times of k plus 3 times of k plus 2 times of k plus k is equals to 1. So just adding all these values. We just add these values and see how much you'll be getting. 
are you getting the value to be 16 times of k if that is the case then it is right 16 k will be equals to 1 or the value of k will be equals to 1 by 16 so if you try to plug in all this value this value of k back over here in p of x you can create the table to be equals to so the value of x will remain the same so the values of x are minus of 3 and corresponding value of k will be 1 by 16 the value of uh, x is minus of 2 the corresponding uh, value will be 2 times of k it is 2 by 16 the next value that we have is minus 1 that's 3 times of k it is 3 by 16 then you have 0 over here it's 4 times of k it is 4 by 16 then you have 1 and the value is 3 3 times of k so it is 3 by 16 then you have 2 it's 2 times of k it's 2 by 16 then you have 3 and k value is just 1 by 16 so you can see that we have got on this table from here we need to find out the uh, mean and variance so the value of mean mu will be equals to it is summation of x i into p of x i as a formula which means that you need to just multiply this value of x with p of x so just try to multiply for each of the values it is minus 3 times of it is 1 by 16 so x into p of x and the second value is plus because summation is there you need to add plus it is minus 2 times of 2 by 16 and again plus again x into p of x it is minus 1 times of 3 by 16 plus it is 0 times of anything will be 0 itself then plus that is 1 times of 3 by 16 and then you have it is plus 2 times of 2 by 16 and plus 3 times of 1 by 16 just calculate and see what's the value will be getting are you getting the value as 0 if you got it as 0 and that's the right uh, solution for the mean now let's try to calculate the variance variance v is equals to you know the formula with summation of x minus of mu whole square into p of x so let us use the values so if you try to observe the first value of uh, uh, x is uh, minus of 3 minus just now we got the mean value to be equals to 0 and it is squared times of the first value of p that you have is 1 by 16 just refer the table of x and p of x plus again we have to continue once again the same formula x value the second value of x is minus of 2 minus new value is 0 into the second value of uh, uh, p is 2 by 16 then plus again repeat the same process the next value of x is minus 1 minus new value is 0 and it is squared so here also it is squared times of p of x the next value of p of x is 3 by 16 plus next value is 0 so 0 x value is 0 minus of new value is also equals to 0 and it is squared times of p of x is 4 by 16 plus the next value of x is 1 minus again new value is 0 square into the value of p is 3 by 16 plus the next value of x is 2 minus new value is 0 and it is square into p of x is 2 by 16 plus the next value of x is 3 minus mu value is 0 into p of x value is 1 by 16. Let's try to calculate this value and see what you get. I am getting the value to be 5 by 2. So we got 5 by 2 then it is the right uh, solution. The question that is asked is we need to find out the probability when the value of x is less than or equals to 1. So how to write down the probability less than or equals to 1. 
So it means you have to write down all the values of x less than or equals to 1. So this is the value of x you have. So the value of is given from p of x less than or equals to 1. It means you have to take all the values less than x and equals to x that is equals to 1 also. That means you have to start from the value of x to be minus of 3. So this probability of minus of 3 and the value of x is minus of 3. So this probability of minus of 3 plus p of minus of 2 plus p of minus of 1 plus p of 0 plus p of 1. So we try to observe and take on all the values starting from uh, minus of 3 till 1. So all the values of x. And what are the corresponding values? Probability of uh, minus of 3. And this probability when x is minus 3, what is the value of p you have? The value of p will be equals to it is 1 by 16. So you need to write on that value. p of minus of 3 is 1 by 16 plus what is the value of p of uh, minus of 2? This value, p value is 2 by 16. Then p of minus of 1. For minus of 1, what is the value of p you have? It is 3 by 16. 3 by 16. Then p of 0. So what is p of 0 you have? p of 0 is 4 by 16. Plus, what is p of 1 you have got? p of 1 is equal to 3 by 16. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 values. I have plugged in 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 values. So your LCM is 16. You need to just add the numerator values. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. So just add these values. So it comes out to be 13 by 16. Alright, that's the value of God. The probability of P of X less than or equals to 1, its value is equal to 13 by 16. So the next question that is asked over here, probability when the value of this x is greater than 1, which will be equal to, which means you have to take all the values greater than 1. So you try to see the values of x greater than 1 itself. Greater than 1 is this value you are having 2 as well as 3. And it's not mentioned equals to. So because it is not mentioned equals to, you cannot take the value as 1. You have to take greater than 1. So greater than 1, only two values you are having, 2 and 3. So therefore, if you write down, it becomes probability of 2 plus probability of 3. So if you try to observe probability of 2, that is 2 by 16. And probability of 3 is how much? 1 by 16. So it is 2 by 16 plus 1 by 16. So that becomes 3 by 16. Coming to the last result, that is probability when the value of x lies between minus 1 and 2. Probability when the value of x is lying between minus of 1 and less than or equals to 2. So we need to write down, it is minus 1 is less than x. So it is not equal, so therefore you cannot take the value as minus 1 over here. So after minus 1, you have to take the value as 0, 1 and it sits equals to 2, therefore 2 should also be taken. So 0, 1 and 2 will be taken. So it is probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2. Because it says equals to 2, so 2 should also be taken. So if you try to observe P of 0, so P value for 0 is 4 by 16. It is 4 by 16 plus P of 1. So P of 1 is how much? 3 by 16 plus you have p of 2 so p of 2 is how much 2 by 16 you can just add this values lcm is 16 over plus 3 plus 2 so that comes out to be 9 by 16 so that gives you a solution of this problem so these are few of the examples few more examples we'll try to see in the next video thank you